Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we are going to be covering Amos 1 through 3 and Revelation 6. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your Word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And they all said, Amen. Amos 1. The words of Amos, one of the shepherds of Tikia, the vision he saw concerning Israel two years before the earthquake, when Uzziah was king of Judea, and Jeroboam, son of Joash, was king of Israel. He said, The Lord roars from Zion, the, and thunders from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds dry up, and the top of Carmel withers. Judgment on Israel's neighbors. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Damascus, even for four, I will not relent, because she thrashed Galilee with sledges having iron teeth. I will send fire on the house of Hesiod that will consume the fortress of ben Hadid. I will break down the gates of Damascus, and I will destroy the king who is in the valley of Evan, and the one who holds the scepter in beth Eden. The people of Aram will go into exile to Kerr, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Gaza, even for four, I will not relent, because she took captive whole communities and sold them to Edom. I will send fire on the walls of Gaza that will consume her fortresses. I will destroy the king of Ashad and the one who holds the scepter in Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron till the last of the Philistines are dead, says the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Tyre, even for four, I will not relent, because she sold whole communities of captives to Edom. Disregarding a treaty of brotherhood, I will send fire on the walls of Tyre that will consume her fortresses. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Edom, even for four, I will not relent, because he pursued his brother with a sword and slaughtered the women of the land, because his anger raged continually and his fury flamed unchecked. I will send fire on Timon that will consume the fortresses of Bozerah. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Ammon, even for four, I will not relent, because he ripped open the pregnant woman of Galilee in order to extend his borders. I will set fire to the walls of Rebah that will consume her fortresses amid war cries on the day of battle, amid violent winds on a stormy day. Her king will go into exile, he and his officials together, says the Lord. Amos 2. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Moab, even for four, I will not relent, because he burned to ashes the bones of Edom's king. I will send fire on Moab. This will consume the fortresses of Kiroth. Moab will go down in great turmoil. Amid war cries and the blasts of trumpets, I will destroy her ruler and kill all her officials with him, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Judea, even for four, I will not relent, 
because they have rejected the law of the Lord and have not kept his decrees, because they have been laid, led astray by false gods, the gods their ancestors followed, I will send fire on Judea, they will consume the fortresses of Jerusalem. Judgment on Israel This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Israel, even for four, I will not relent. They sell the innocent for silver, and the needy for a pair of sandals. They trample on the heads of the poor, as on the dust of the ground. They deny justice to the oppressed, and father and son use the same girl, and so profane my holy name. They lie down beside every altar on garments taken in pledge. In the house of their God they drink wine taken as fines. Yet I destroyed the Amorites before them, though they were tall as the cedars and strong as the oaks. I destroyed their fruit above and their roots below. I brought you up out of Egypt and led you forty years in the wilderness to give you the land of the Amorites. I also raised up prophets from among your children, the Nazarites from among your youth. And is this not true, people of Israel? declares the Lord. But you made the Nazarites drink wine, and commanded the prophets not to prophesy. Now then, I will crush you, as a cart crushes with loaded, when loaded with grain. The swift will not escape, the strong will not muster their strength, the, and the warrior will not save his life. The archer will not stand his ground, the fleet will footed soldier will not get away, and the horseman will not save his life. Even the bravest warriors will flee naked on that day, declares the Lord. Witnesses um, summoned against Israel. Amos 3. Hear this word, people of Israel, the word the Lord has spoken against you, against the whole family I brought up out of Egypt. You only have I chosen of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your sins. Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so? Does a lion roar in the thicket when he has no prey? Does it growl in its den when it has caught nothing? Does a bird swoop down to a trap on the ground when no bait is there? Does a trap spring up from the ground if it has not caught anything? When a trumpet sounds in a city, do not the people tremble? And when disaster comes to a city, has not the Lord caused it? Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants and the prophets. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The Sovereign Lord has spoken, who can but prophesy? Proclaim to the fortress of Eshad and to the fortress of Egypt, assemble themselves as the mountains of Samaria, see the great unrest within her, and the oppression among her people. They do not know how to go do right, declares the Lord, who stores up their fortresses what they have plundered and looted. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, An enemy will overrun your land, pull down your strongholds, and plunder your fortresses. This is what the Lord says. As a shepherd rescues from the lion's mouth only two leg bones, or a piece of an ear, so will the Israelites living in Samaria be rescued. 
with only the head of a bed and a piece of fabric from a couch. Hear this and testify against the descendants of Jacob, declares the Lord, the Lord God Almighty. On the day I punish Israel for her sins, I will destroy the altars of Bethel. The horns of the altars will be cut off and fall to the ground. I will tear down the winter house along with the summer house. The houses adorned with ivory will be destroyed and the mansions will be demolished, declares the Lord. That was Amos 1 through 3. Now we will be turning to Revelation 6. The Seals, Revelation 6. I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say in a voice like thunder, Come! I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider had a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror, bent on conquest. When the Lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come! Then another horse came out, a fiery red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people kill each other. To him was given a large sword. When the Lamb opened in the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in its hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wage, and six pounds of barley for a day's wage, and do not damage the oil and the wine. When the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and hordes were, and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. They called out in a loud voice, How long, Lord, sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers and sisters, were killed just as they had been. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red, and the stars in the skies fell to earth. As pigs dropped from a big tree when shaken by a strong wind, the heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth, the princes and the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, both slave and free, hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains. They called to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath 
has come, and who can withstand it? And that was Revelation 6, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Amos 4 through 6 and Revelation 7. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word I cannot be your messenger of the word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to The Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow, because God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too.